Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the facade pattern. The facade pattern is quite simple and it's quite self-explanatory as well. So the main idea is that we want to provide a simple interface to a complex functionality. Okay, so think about a third party library that you might be using. You have really no idea what's going on behind the scenes. All you know is what is provided by the interface, okay? And you're not really concerned with how the uh, library does what it does. You're simply concerned with the result that you're gonna get, right? So you can think about um, a network communication um, system, okay? Like uh, Retrofit, let's say. You're gonna connect to, using Retrofit, you're gonna connect to a third party or um, a backend API, okay? And you're gonna retrieve some data. You don't really, care that much of course in some situations you might care but in most cases you won't really care how you get the information as long as it arrives and you have some error handling to um, to manage any problems that might occur right so that is the facade it's basically an interface or you can think about it more generally as an object or several uh, classes that can provide you some functionality to retrieve um, or to access some more complex functionality in the background. So it removes the need for complex object and memory management. So you don't know what's going on in the background, you just care about the result that you're gonna get. So in our example about retrofit, you don't really care about how retrofit does and what objects it creates in the background, what classes it uses, you don't really care about all of that, you just want the information from the backend API. And of course, it simplifies the client implementation. Since you don't care about all that complex functionality, you can keep it very simple on your end and just interface with the facade that is provided. Okay, so with that said, let's have a look at a example in, uh, this, in the uh, IntelliJ IDA. So let's go ahead and create a new Kotlin file. I'm gonna call this complex system store. So the main idea here is that we have a system that can store some information locally, okay, in a very complex way. We're gonna kind of assume the complexity, okay? We're gonna, not gonna actually implement the functionality, but we're gonna assume the complexity of this, this, um, this system, okay? So I'm gonna create a class complex system store that has a private val file path of type string. Okay, so we're providing uh, the file where we want this information to be stored. We're gonna have a private val cache. That's gonna be a hash map of string and string. Okay, um, so here we're going to initialize it. We're gonna have an init block. We're gonna print line something like reading data from the file and here we're going to have the file path and then we're going to have cache equals hash map okay so we're going to instantiate that hash map and here we can assume that we are actually performing the functionality to read data from a file okay so i'm going to put a message here um, read uh, properties from file and put to cache. Okay, now we're gonna have a function store and here we're gonna have a key of type string and a, a value of also type string and I'm gonna have cache of key equals value. Okay, so we're putting this information in our cache Okay, and here I'm, have, I'm gonna have fun read a key of type string, and that's going to simply return a cache of key. Okay, um, so cache of key, if that is not null, otherwise empty string. And then fun commit. And that's simply going to be print line storing k 
cached data uh, to to file dollar file path. Okay, so basically we have a cache and that cache can be committed to the actual file. All right, so we're going to also have a data class user that has a val login of type string. All right, so with that information, we can actually provide the facade now. So we have class user repository. Okay, so this is going to be my facade. Okay, so private val system preferences. And that's going to be a complex system store. Okay, so here we have, uh, we can provide a path. So data slash default dot prefs. Okay, this doesn't really matter since we're not actually storing the information there. Um, so here we have a function save user of type user. So we want to store the information for this particular user. So we're going to have system preferences dot store and whatever we want here, user underscore key and user dot login. Okay, so we're just storing that and we have system preferences dot commit. So we're storing that information to our um, to our file. And then finally, we can have another function find first. And that gives us the user and that's going to be a user of we need the login. So we're going to have system preferences dot read and the key is user underscore key. Okay, so basically we have our facade, which has only two functions, which has save and find or find first. Okay, if we have multiple users in our cache, then we will get the first one. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a test class for this. So facade test, we're gonna have at test fun uh, test facade. So let's create a user repository. So val uh, user repo, user repository. Okay, we're gonna have val user equals user of um, John, whatever the login name is. Then we have user repo dot um, save. So we can save our user and then of course we can retrieve that information as well. So val retrieved user is going to be uh, user repository dot find first. Okay, so this will basically give us the first user that is stored in the, uh, in the cache or in the file. Okay, so there we have it. Now, let's go ahead and assert. So assertions dot assert that retrieved user dot login is equal to, and we have John. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this we should get some printout and then we should have the test. So basically we are reading from the file and we are storing data, uh, cache data to the file. Okay, so basically we are um, storing, so we are reading from the file when we initiate the complex system store, we initiate the cache. Okay, and then when we actually save our user, we are storing cache data to the file, okay? And here we are retrieving our user and making sure that it is equal to what we were expecting, which is going to be John. So basically that is the facade. You can see that the interface here of two functions, save and find, 
is much easier than all the functionality that we have here using the cache, using the file on the store, and all the functionality that we have here, okay? So it's uh, providing a easier way for the user, for the client, okay? The client is the test function, for the client to access the functionality in the main uh, complex uh, system store here. So that is the facade pattern.